Hi, my friends. I'm back again. I just want to show you this is a tour of my <laughs> oversized spice uh, rack. You guys know I love cooking, so I'm going to go over. This is everything that goes into my cooking. I have all my spices here. Um, these are my large ones. You know, everything that's related goes on, you know, this rack. Um, all my large spices are kept up here. Um, everything is kept up here. These are my large bottles, you know. Everything is, is kept up here. Now, all my spice blends I make up myself. If I told you that, I would be, I'd be telling you a ball face lie. Everything is um, dated. I have to date everything because I don't want to put anything that's expired. But they say you can keep your spices up to a year past the best buy date. Um, I have tested that and I've never had a problem. Um, but I had the correct date on these though. Uh, but I have tested that previously about, about, say about two years ago. I tested that. When I used to do product reviews, I tested that. That because I got all my those spices free because I used to re do product reviews, but I don't do that anymore. So um, that's why I did it. Yeah, because I got all those spices. I got everything for free. So when they had to be replaced, I didn't want to pay for them. So I said, I'm going to try this theory. But then I, I got to pay for them, so I don't try it anymore. But um, these are all my other spices um everything i'm very i told you i got that ocd going on so all my names they have to um stay the, stay the same like simply organic all my simply organic spices have to be together my um spice islands have to be together Watkins is my favorite bland whatever that word is that's my favorite McCormick. All these are my favorite. These are the only brands I buy. This is something new. I'm going to try because um, that's something I want to try with some wings. Um, so, because I have the orange pepper and I have the, not orange, whatever it's called. Um, this up here. Lemon pepper and lime pepper. I love these two. So, I they now make a, a, a this one. I can't get the word out, but they make this one now. And I didn't want to buy a large one, and I don't like it. So they had this one on sale, and so I bought this one to try it out. Um, it's been a crazy, it's been a rainfall day. And so down here is where I have my alcohols, because I, I do cook with alcohols. And for you guys that are concerned when people have dishes with alcohol, if you're concerned about the alcohol content, ask them, did, did they cook the alcohol? Because if they did not cook the alcohol, you're getting the full alcohol content. Once heat is um, come in contact with the alcohol and it's been cooked, and it's been cooked for five minutes on uh, high, high heat, the alcohol content is removed. Now, they got a lot of alcohol in. It's going to take more than five minutes. Now I like to cook with cognac too, but I'm out of cognac, so I have to go my go by my uh local store. They always get it for me, find it for me. So I'm really appreciative to that because they 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 love me over there. I don't drink, but um it's only one store I go to for my my cooking alcohol. And uh, so they know me in there. That's Caitlin's apple juice. And it's my margarita because I do make like lager margarita desserts i like making margarita desserts and some chicken dishes i use margarita hold up a second yes i use this big thing because i do clean my meat with baking soda so i use I, I i i buy this big thing and these are all my flowers that i have to refill go with my toad and get the bags out my yeast packets hold on auntie hold on one second and i'll be right back you know, my different um, sugars and my yellow. I love yellow cornbread. It makes the best cornbread to me. And it's the best thing to fry fish in. So these are my, like, you know, this is what I cook. Um, 
I had to sit down, so this is why the camera angle is like that. So, I just had to sit down a minute, guys. So, hold on. And my aprons and my turbans are my trademarks. I have my apron for when I want to cook cakes, uh, my pizza apron, you know, whatever theme of food I'm cooking, I feel like I'm just so in the mood when I have my uh, apron, my soul food aprons, my African print. Yes, go back to the motherland. You know, I have an apron feeling bright and sunshine. I've had great, great days. I, this is one of my favorite because it's so positive. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's such a positive thing because I'm all about being positive. Um, I love my herb apron. Not herb, like marijuana. <laughs> I mean, cooking herbs. But then again, they don't turn that into cooking, huh? <laughs> You know, this reminds me of my grandmother, you know, Susie Homemaker. And I love my, I got an apron for everything. Anything I want to cook, I got an apron for. My aprons and my turbans are my are just my trademarks. And I've, I've always been into aprons because that's the way my grandmother cooked. So thank you guys for joining in. This is my updated tour of what it, what it takes to turn out. Some of my, um, well, all of my dishes, this is what I, it takes to turn out um, all of my dishes. Um, I'll go over my baking pantry later. I'm a little tired now. But thank you guys for joining in. Um, I can't show you me because I'm in my, uh, my 90s and my beautiful, beautiful leopard print bunny. Can't see it now. But anyway, thank you for joining in. I appreciate all of your love and support. Until the next time. You all have an awesome night, evening, day, wherever you are. Hugs and kisses to all of you. Please like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.